Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. FC25 is officially underway as the web app is out and working, and it was an absolutely crazy day yesterday. There were some good things, like welcome backpacks being tradable, which is amazing for the market, guys, and I'm going to tell you how we can make some investments, even if you don't have a lot of coins, but there were some bad things, like objectives being locked on the web app. What's the point of that? And also the servers going down yesterday. EA even had to tweet about how the servers were going down, and I think it was like an half hour or an hour or so where the servers are really really struggling as people are on the web app and trying to play the game and get into their ultimate teams for the first time so that was an l but mostly positive i don't know maybe a bit of a mixed bag we're going to talk about that today guys because there's a ton going on we even had SBC content yesterday and there's more coming today and of course we have to talk about the market making coins right now is a high priority and prices i think are going to start going up today guys so we need to talk about it if you're excited for the video today drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new now once again start off the video by saying thanks to ea creator network once again this year for getting us in the game early it's really unique because we get to take a look at some of this content in the game ahead of time um, whereas a lot of us aren't on the actual game at the moment in the web app we get to see it through me on the game which is really neat i get to inform you guys of some of this stuff that you really wouldn't be able to see otherwise which i love so starting from the top yesterday we got to talk about those welcome backpacks guys and i have like nothing in the store right now it's just like cosmetic tifo stuff um, from objectives that i've been completing these were the welcome backpacks though that honestly are the biggest w of the web app because honestly I wasn't expecting too many packs yesterday. One year, I guess, of FC before this, like what sort of loyalty rewards would they be giving us? They gave us some pretty good ones. 75 to 83 times two gold players pack. I think we had two or three of these packs and this really supplied the market a lot and it's creating investment potential. We'll talk about that again in a little bit. We also had a tradable silvers pack and some untradable gold packs in there that were actually really nice for helping us start some of those SBCs. Now, once you open these packs, a lot of what we talked about preparing for the web app was going straight into the SBC section, which I still think was the move, getting that Foundations 1 SBC done right here. That was really easy to do. But then, of course, I think a lot of you guys, at least talking to you in the stream yesterday, it felt like after that, you're a little stuck. Like, where do I go from there? What do I do? Still, I think that looking at maybe Foundations 5 is a decent SBC to go ahead and do because you need bronze players in it. That's where a lot of people, you can tell by the market, are doing SBCs at the moment. Maybe starting Hybrid League of Nations is a decent place to go as well, but you feel a little bit stuck, right? And especially without the objectives helping us out, giving us some coins, you know, even some people were having issues quick selling their kits and badges yesterday. Quick tip on that, by the way, if you're struggling to quick sell anything, make sure before you try to quick sell any of your kits or badges, equip one and make one active. Then you'll be able to quick sell the others. That was a glitch or something that came up last year. So that's one thing. Uh, but it's really actually necessary to quick sell some of that stuff. I was actually able to pack some really big ones that gave me some more coins than just the quick sell value. But now these are like really uh, discard price on the market. So just quick sell those. You'll get some coins and then head to the market. Now, that's what I want to talk about first. Making coins with those welcome backpacks. We had some supply. It's grindy though, man. And like I mentioned, it's not glamorous work, but it there is some profit here in the bronzes. What you really just have to do though is you find you have to find some bronzes that are selling from specific leagues, specific ratings, specific positions. Like um, I haven't done a whole lot of research inside of here personally. I haven't been trading with it too much, but I do know that all bronze center attacking mids were selling at 300 coins yesterday, which on the web app is not bad. It actually created a really good opportunity to do bronze pack method. A lot of people were doing BPM. Looks like there's still 250 coins Insta and 300 coins selling for the center attacking mids because of the SBC that we had for content yesterday. Bronze pack method was working really well. There were some managers as well that were selling for a couple thousand coins or Brazil managers, something like that. People stocking up on those. Maybe not quite a couple thousand, but a couple hundred. And then you have your random one-off players from these top leagues that will sell for like a thousand coins. Somebody may be hunting for like a second division Bundesliga right mid, and you might have that, and that might sell for like six, seven hundred coins. It's stuff like that where you can actually make coins at the moment. You just kind of have to find where those cards are. Silvers would be a place where I'd start to look on the market right now as well. Um, I was just going to search through some Brazilian silvers right here. Let's just go to Brazil. Brazilian goalkeepers are these selling because Brazil is a very popular nation. It looks like they're not selling that great. 
but they're probably going to sell in different positions. Maybe goalkeeper isn't one they're selling in. Maybe center attacking mid. Looks like maybe 500 for some of those. You can get them on snipe for 250 or on bid and then get those uh, listed up. Here's a good way to find silvers, guys. Put a buy now of like 800. Put a max price of like six to seven hundred and then a minimum price of like 250 because these will hopefully find you some silvers like this one that people are bidding on and you can see look this this derby county um ward actually sells for like a thousand coins so like if i bid on that for 300 i might be able to sell that for like seven or eight hundred and take that quick flip like that's the type of small profits that you're looking for but those are how you can find some cards here's a 90 pace right mid from spain okay not that great for him, but moving down the list, you know, you might find a couple more. Look at the ones that have bids on them. That'll tell you that somebody cares about it and it might be worth trying to sell. So that's how you can, can kind of trade with silvers. And then gold cards at the moment, which is where I've been doing a lot of trading. It is about the advanced SBCs and you're going to start to see these be completed a lot more today on Thursday. A lot more people are going to be doing hybrid leagues, nations, and league and nation hybrid. There's going to be uh, solution trading. It's going to start pick up big time. Watch gold non-rares for that. Watch got sites like Footbin. I do believe that the uh, SBCs are now uploaded to Footbin's website, and there are some solutions inside of here. So that's going to be kicking off today for sure. And even some of the SBCs, like if we get content today which i'm expecting we will those solutions should be in here too and you'll probably see some ways to complete them especially as prices start to flow in and populate on these websites it'll start to be easier to trade with those golds as well now quickly i want to cover the sbc content for the two sbcs that dropped yesterday we had the for the club challenge and right away when we saw this one yesterday I saw three center attacking mids in this formation, and I knew right away that center attacking mid cards were going to be good to trade with. This pack, this SBC is still there. I would look at center attacking mids again on the market today. They should be moving. You'd need bronzes or silvers, so that's where I'd be trading with those as well. It's not that great of a pack, but it's an SBC for a pack. People are going to want to do it. We also have a Team of the Week Plus Cosmetic Evo, which gives you only a cosmetic look to a team of the week card that you maybe have it's 284 squads nobody is going to be doing that right now hardly anybody has a team of the week anyway so that was interesting we'll store that one for later now since objectives is closed down i just want to run through objectives really quick because it looks it's very different it looks very different but there is a couple things i want to focus in on this completionist set list 50 cards and purchase 50 cards if you can get this done uh, actually, from this 75 times 3 pack, I got Inform Hudson Adoy. If you want to see our full day one recap, we're starting uh, an RTG channel where we're going to basically upload all that we do on the streams and all the progress and trades that I have. Since there's so much content in this game, I find myself talking about my account less and just about the content in general more. So if you want to follow my account and follow us on the streams and how we trade and stuff, I'll put that link right above right here. It's the second channel. And that's over there. But this objective is one to try to get done if you can. I know it's a little annoying. Purchase 50 cards with buy it now. List 50 cards. That might be something you could do. Five SBC completions. Shouldn't be that difficult. I have not been doing too many SBCs, obviously. But that objective is worth doing. You get a gold players pack too. That's one I wanted to mention. Um, and then you do have the transfer market mastery, which I'm still working on at the moment for listing 100. And this does give you the coins. But again, you can't get it done like you know claim it at least until you get into the game what we don't know right now is can you do it on the web app and does the progress count that's the question that we have and we're not sure about that at the moment i want to cover evolutions really quick i know that a lot of you guys haven't seen this but this is going to impact how we invest even if you have like three four five thousand coins maybe 10k from those welcome backpacks you can invest in some of these cheap cards that are going to fit into these evolutions. These are the two big ones, guys. The club member reward. This is one that gives a roll plus plus to a right back. And there's a lot of players that fit this evolution that are also center backs that it looks very good on. Sule doesn't look too bad. Now, again, remember, I even had some struggling with this yesterday. If a card has a face stat that is above what it shows inside of here, like you can see, pace, 89 pace is kind of like the max that it can go to. It's fine. He'll still fit the Evo. It's all about the requirements. Dalo is 82 rated. He fits, right? 
this Dalo is a card that I've actually started to invest in because he was like 3,000 coins yesterday. And this is a card that I think so many people are going to want to put in this evolution. And anybody who logs in during early access and even at the start of the game is going to want to do an Evo like this for a guy like Dalo. So this Evo is crazy. Look at Joe Gomez. Look at Diogo Dalo. I even bought some Kosonu, the new Serie A transfer center back to Atalanta. He can be double evolved. He can go into the intro to stat limits evolution and then into this one, the right back one, to get a bigger boost. Then you also have the Evo that we thought was coming out on the 27th, the pre-order evolution for Power Shot Plus on a striker. This one is really where there's a lot of investing opportunity. This Mallard card is one of the best cards, I think, to fit in the Evo. But guys like... Uh, Darwin Nunez fits this one. Colo Mwani fits this one. Correa fits this one. Um, there's a bunch of players that fit this and look absolutely cracked. All you have to do is be an 82 rated striker with no play style pluses and you're in and you're in. The boosts are pretty decent as well. So watch out, especially if you're on a lower budget. Some of those cards that I even just mentioned by name, do a little bit of research, find out who uh, fits into that Evo, Evo at least. But like Darwin Nunez is like five, 6,000 coins. This exact same thing happened last year with Evolutions where these cards that were the most popular for Evos rose a ton into the full, into the early game access release. This is where I'm focusing a lot of my investing efforts at the moment. Now, I know these prices seem... Maybe for some of these guys, a little high. Maybe not, though. I mean, it's, it's kind of uncharted territory for these cards that are 83 and below since we had a lot of supply there. But for some of them, I think there's really good investing potential. Remember, Darwin Nunez last year in that Founders Evo went from like 9K the first day or the Thursday. And in the next day, Friday, Saturday, as people were getting on the game, he went to almost like 20, 25,000 coins. So... Darwin Nunez, I know there's a lot more players that fit into the Evos now with the different requirements, so they maybe not aren't going to go as high, but I still think that's a really good opportunity to look for investments right now. Do a little research on Footbin, see who fits in the Evos, and then go from there with those investments. So market time, a little bit more, guys. I want to talk about this because I want to show you guys some prices. Honestly, that might, I won this card for 300 coins. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold on, see chat. Look at this, guys. We're trading live on stream, live on the video. All right, let's list this up for uh, Cheeky 700. Get that out. We will take that. Boom. That is how you can trade right now in this game. Find some players like that. Now, market and investing wise, anything that is above 83 rated is rare AF. Take a look at this card, Chowy like barely a page on the market, 30K. She was just 20,000 coins with this card. That's so cheap for Car Chowie. Remember some of those 30,000 coins? This one baffled me, man. Anybody who has coins in this game right now, if you open any FC points, get on the high tier. Yes, there still could be a couple of dips as people get on the game and open FC points and maybe even with some um, packs that are released today like marquee matchups. There still could be a couple of dips, but on the high tier, guys, some of these expensive cards, some of the inform prices that I'm seeing, inform Lamine Yamal is like, he was 40K earlier today. I think that card's on my tranche list too. He's really rare. He's 65K right now. He was 40K. Unbelievable price for that kind of card. I think Kavaretskelia was also around like 60 or 70,000 coins. And like, look how rare he is, man. So you can trade with these cards with how rare they are if you have coins right now for quick flips. Also, still, I expect a rise, guys. This is the number one thing that, I, that I'm thinking about this market at the moment is right now, there is little to no gameplay demand. There's little to none, right? Which is why I've invested in players that I think will go up as we start to get gameplay demand. I just bought a Cole Palmer because I thought it was really cheap. I sniped a Yokarez for 10,000 coins. He's extinct. That is one thing to kind of keep uh, in mind that there are a lot of cards that are extinct at the moment. But high tier meta cards and also players that are going to fit into evolutions are going to go up in price, guys. Because people are going to get on the game and want to buy these guys for evolutions and for gameplay. So those are the types of players that I would look at. I know people are worried about prices dropping today as people getting on the game and opening their FC points. I totally get that. But if I'm being 100% honest, guys, I really feel like some of these most high players, and especially the guys for the evolutions, are going to end up going up in value because once people get on the game, it's literally 8 a.m. Eastern time today, which is 1 p.m. UK, is when those in New Zealand or those who took the flights to New Zealand, if you know what I'm saying, are getting on the game today. And that's when you're going to start to have actual gameplay demand, team building demand, and demand in so many areas of the market that it's going to just make the market come alive. It feels really quiet right now on this game. 
pretty quiet at least. It's going to really come alive today on this game. So I just want to put that out there because there's still a lot of prices when I click around a few of these cards, um, especially some of the above um, 83 rated ones that are really cheap. Even some of the below, like this Udogi is like 4,000 and 5,000 coins. I projected him to be like a 20K card. I still think he's going to end up being 15 to 20K. This is how it is when we have tradable packs at the start for welcome backpacks. This is absolutely the opposite of last year's market where there was like nothing on the market because there was no supply we have supply on the low tier and it's actually making some of the top tier get cheap as well i think there are great investments out there especially on the more rare stuff people that, that are going to want to buy for their teams like the informs and even the evo investments as we mentioned now i want to mention a couple more things about content today because there could be some more movements price wise with supply and this could be really good to trade in and out of if you know where people are going to be buying cards you can watch for that today guys today we should be getting marquee matchups which marquee matchups could and probably will include the big manchester city versus arsenal matchup that is happening this weekend now the problem is so many people know this that arsenal gold cards i think are like 800 a piece how much are these Arsenal cards on the market are all, especially the golds, 850 to 900. A lot of people are going to do marquee matchups because it's tradable packs. Should you hold these? If you're going to invest, should you hold them? No, you should sell them in the hype. That would be my safest bet for you would be sell this stuff in the hype. If you want to invest in another game of marquee matchups, I think Inter plays AC Milan this weekend, if I remember correctly. There's also some other big derby games that could potentially feature in marquee matchups as well. If you want to invest, you could go for that. Just invest in your own risk but marquee matchups is always very hyped and it is going to bring some supply to the market which will create opportunities to get on bids bids guys for guards cards today that are going to get packed are going to be incredibly good deals as well this joao felix is another card speaking of an evo he's like 2.5k 3k he's going up actually that's a card that can be double evoed as well with the intro to stat limits and then i think the striker one but that's the sort of content today with a pack supply sbc aka marquee matchups that's going to make the market move there's going to be great bids to be had on open bids on gold cards even on bronzes and silvers because some of those marquee matchups packs might uh, put some silver and bronze supply on the market. And so for silvers, that's something to watch for too. Don't sleep on silvers, man. Every year I sleep on silvers myself. And then I end up not making as many coins as I could have because I'm looking at gold cards thinking I'm cool and not looking at silvers. So that is something. But again, all the while with that supply and people opening their 4,600 FC points is happening. You're going to have more gameplay and more SBC demand too. It's going to be a really, really exciting day on the market today. Watch for dips. Watch for opportunities to get in and get on bids and then flip. So that's kind of the content that I'm expecting today. I'm not expecting anything else uh, from an EA standpoint, maybe an objective. I don't think they drop another F Evo. There's already four that are out. We'll have to see. I want to, I want to end the video off, guys, with just a couple of things really quickly. Uh, a couple of posts just to catch up on. How do you tell if it's a walkout? If you're opening packs, you're opening your welcome backpacks, or you're getting on the game, doing SBCs today, how do you tell? You're looking for the lines in the back. Behind the player's silhouette, you'll see the gold bars. It kind of creates a, not quite a triangle, but the start of that. That is how you know if it's a walkout. And also, you see this here, 80 plus card. If you get an 80 plus gold, you'll see the tunnel. If you get a 70 plus silver, you'll see the tunnel. And I think it goes 60 plus bronze as well. You'll see the tunnel because I actually opened a bronze pack yesterday and I saw the tunnel and I was like, what in the world is happening? But it was a 63 rated bronze. So I think that's how that works um, in terms of the walkout animation, the pack animation, a little bit weird. Um, so good luck if you're opening those packs, but that's kind of how it works. And then also you may have seen some of the leaks we have players being leaked for the road to the knockout promo. Now, the question is, when is this promo dropping? I don't think it's tomorrow. I, I don't. We've got Jude Bellingham, Doku, Alvarez. We've got a whole bunch of cards here. Romero, Ormeni, three Argentines that have been leaked. Isco as well. Like, that's crazy that we're getting all these leaks right now. I'd be really surprised if it was this Friday, guys. I'd be very surprised if EA dropped a live promo during... Um, early access when like you know a certain percentage of the people are on the game i think it's going to be like last year where this is the promo that happens on the full release of the game 
but you never know. So we're just going to put that out there. We're just going to say, it. I think this is going to be the 27th. I don't think this is going to be on this Friday, tomorrow, the 20th, but those leaks are going around and that is there. And uh, yeah, man, th the web app yesterday and just the start of the game, of course, me being on console, if I had to give you guys any sort of insight on how the game feels right now from a console perspective, um, it's actually an advantage to be on the web app, guys. Apart from seeing the actual pack animation, I know some of you guys will be getting on the game today for sure, um, and that's great. Have fun. Ooh, Cole Palmer? Bought him for 8K, sold for 10. We flipping out here, baby. Let's go. Anyways, the menus are not very enjoyable. I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm saying they're not enjoyable because it's slow. Like, it's just when you go and try to snipe on the market, especially the market menus, very slow, man. Listing players up. I've already listed multiple players um, for open bid price because accidentally I've uh, wanted to click compare price and instead I've clicked list player. Like that happened here with one of my badges, actually. It happened with the Barca badge. I was lucky enough to sell it for 800 coins, but I probably could have sold it for 2K. That sort of situation has happened to me multiple times. Um, so... That's something that I'm kind of watching for, hoping that EA can patch and fix up. It's a little annoying at the moment to especially work the market. Other stuff in, inside of the menus looks pretty good. I know you might be asking about gameplay. Uh, guys, all I did for gameplay yesterday was play a little bit of Rush, which actually was crazy. If you saw it on the uh, stream or the video on the second channel, we got into a Rush game with Alfonso Davies, uh, which was nuts. And I actually assisted Alfonso Davies on two goals that he scored inside of the Rush game. So that was pretty cool. And everybody's like, oh, Alfonso Davies has the Real Madrid badge. He does. But he probably just chose that from starting the game. But um, yes, that was Real, that was Alfonso Davies pretty much confirmed. Um, and yeah, so that was pretty cool. Again, I haven't played too much gameplay. We're probably going to delve into that a little bit more today. If you're going to get into the game, squad battles is probably the way you want to go we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow gameplay wise what the grind is there's no rivals rewards today uh the first sets next week so squad battles is the first place to go that you can get rewards if you want to grind any of that so have fun on the market have fun doing the sbcs i know it's grindy if you're just kind of like nate i don't want to mess with it till i get on console totally do not blame you from that um, just because yeah some of the the web app grind can be a bit tough and i totally get that so that's gonna be the video for me today guys if you did enjoy it drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe of course if you are new i will see you guys in another stream today we will be grinding the menus trading and getting on this game once again maybe a little bit of gameplay too we'll have to see so again guys i will see you in the stream today that links down below check out the second channel for the upload from yesterday i'll see you guys there it's been Nathan for the count peace out